Hello and welcome, my name is Michael Olson and today I'm going to show you how to install the Symphony 2 framework. So let's get started. Go to symphony.com It's a great site for information about the framework, documentation, etc. And on the right you find a big green button that says download now, click on that. Here we can see that the latest version is 2.0, release candidate 6. And there are a couple of different versions. Choose one of the versions with, uh, without the vendors. And click download. Okay, well now it's done, we need a terminal. By the way, I'm on uh, Mac OS X, as you, some of you might have seen. Uh, so uh, where my web route is, uh, etc., might might vary from your operating system. Okay, go to your download folder, unpack the download the file you just downloaded. It should unpack to a folder named Symphony. Copy that folder to your web route. I'll move it. Mine is library, web server, documents. Oops, I need to tell them what I'm moving. Symphony. Okay. Go to that folder. Library, web server, documents, and Symphony. Okay, since we didn't download the vendors, the first thing we need to do is uh, to, yeah, to download through Symfony. You do that with writing php bin slash vendors install. And now Symfony starts to download all the vendors, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to pause and return when all the vendors have been downloaded. Okay, we're all done. Uh, as you can see, this uh, vendor system they have um, is a great thing. Uh, it means they can update all, this, uh, all the uh, different packages or bundles that are used in Symfony. You have to do php bin vendors update. Now, I usually do it once a day, especially now since it's a release candidate, there's a lot of updates to different bundles. And press enter. Uh, they use Git and similar to, to keep all the bundles up and update. So here you're just going through and checking if uh, something has updated. And you should yeah, probably have uh, nothing has updated in this short time. Okay, no, nothing. Uh, now we should have a look. It should be working. If you go to localhost, go home, localhost, host, symphony, web, and app. Dev.php. You should see something happening. No. Ah, I'm able to create the cache directory. We have forgot to give the give the web server read and write directories. Let's do that. First of all, make sure that uh, the uh, the log and the cache directory is empty. Remove rf app cache and star. And the same goes for the log. On 
the Symfonev website you find the installation information which you can cut and, copy and paste okay we need to give the web server on the OS X it's not called www data it's called underscore data there we go and we need to give the current user access to all of those things too this also and replace your name with your username and I have the username development okay let's try that again oh now it worked okay now we need to configure symphony you see this nice welcome screen, click on configure select the information the driver, what database you are using, I'm using MySQL, MySQL localhost I'm gonna I need to set up a database I have ppmyadmin installed with root and no password. It's okay here because I'm behind the firewall and nobody can reach my development development uh, computer. Okay, let's create a new database. I call it Symphony. Create. Okay, here we can see the database Symphony, and it's empty. Okay, the, the, the name of the database was Symfony, port, default, user root, no password, no password. This is only okay on a development uh, uh, computer, guys. Okay, next step. Global secret. We can generate a global secret. Next step. Okay, you permitted me to that any file was not writable, so we need to copy these settings, the parameters, to that file. Okay, I'm gonna use nano app config parameters dot any and yes, delete everything here. And paste X yes and now it should be configured. Okay. Now we have Symphony up and running. Let's install some version control. I'm going to use Git. Git uh, you can find Git information about Git uh, in uh, Git uh, SCM. Git SCM. Git SCM dot com. Here you can download it and etc. Okay, let's make sure that you're in the right directory. It looks right. Git. That's init, an empty repository. Empty repository. Git init. And before we add all the files, we should uh, create a 
git ignore file. So use nano again. Dot git ignore and add your vendors library to that. So it doesn't get per you don't need version control on that one. Save. Add now we add all files and commit them. First commit. Now all the files get added. Boom. And we have a local repository. So that's all you need to get started with with the uh, Symphony. And this tutorial might continue with some development.